Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are checking out a brand new disc. It is the Page Pierce Discraft Prototype Drive. It's kind of marketed as a lower arm speed distance driver, which I always get really excited when manufacturers do this because I'm the demographic. I don't have the biggest arm. So I'm really excited to test this one out. And Paige already has a bunch of really good discs in her lineup. Fierce and the Passion, now the Drive. Those other two were really good. So I'm expecting good things out of this guy. We're gonna jump right into this. All right, we're gonna start here on a pretty long par three, 416 feet straight ahead. I'm gonna do a hyzer around some trees, try to land in the middle of the fairway. A little early. And keeping with the Discraft theme today, gonna be doing much more approaches with this new Z-Flex Kratos I got. Really been liking this guy. All right, another long par three, 441 feet. This one requires to hang out pretty wide for the first 250 feet, crash it on hyzer, then go straight that way. So we're just gonna put this on some hyzer, see how it goes. Oh, the glide on that, I can already tell, is gonna be amazing. Oh yeah. So one thing I've already noticed right away about this disc is the rim width is fantastic, for me at least. It's really thin if you're used to those like 12 speed distance drivers like Destroyer or there's a bunch of Discraft ones, Thrasher, Force, Zeus, Hades. This is gonna feel thinner than those, which for me, I'm a guy with small hands. I'm, I mean, I'm five, seven and a half. It's my lot in life. I didn't choose this life, but I suffer regardless. And Feels good in my hands. I also have a Page Pierce nuke here that I throw a lot. And the hand feel difference between the 13 speed nuke and the 11 speed drive could not be more different. I like the hand feel of the drive a lot. All right, we got 313 foot par three up the gut here. Typically I go big hyzer out and around. I think that's a better play, but I'm tired of throwing hyzers. We're gonna throw something flat and straight and see how this guy holds up. There's a tree line on the right protecting the basket. We're just gonna ignore that. I got nothing from here. Oh, go in. Oh, no. I feel like it almost feels worse when it almost goes in, but then doesn't. Gave me so much hope. All right, we got 284 feet basket straight ahead. Again, probably the hyzer is the right play, but we're gonna go the Anheuser route, kind of put this up high. See if we can get some turn out of it, maybe some pan. Uh, it's got some nice turn. That'll leave us in a decent spot. That ended up having a really nice flex. Got us pin high, a little bit past the basket. Got maybe a circle's edge, slightly obstructed putt. Oh, shoot. Oh. All right, there's a 268 foot par three. Hooks to the left, pretty short, gonna have to power down this guy. Got the sun right in my eyes, burning my retinas off. Uh, that could be good. Might be a little short though. Uh, I'll leave us with like a circle's edge putt. I ended up here with like a 45 footer maybe. Oh. All right, 234 foot, par three. Hooks to the left. Let's do it. Miss those trees. Uh, it'll be an okay spot. Probably like edge of circle ish. Let's go with the Kratos. More of a Kratos hole. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Skip. There we go. Oh. All right, bit of a toughie. 322 foot par three, very narrow gap the entire way. You can probably see the basket down there. Oh, if that was to the right, that'd be amazing. That would be at least pin high if not pass. Gosh, I wish I'd thrown it to the right. That would have been a beautiful shot. Oh, shoot. Ah! And if you are looking for the drive or any other disc golf stuff, why don't you go check out this video's sponsor, Grow and Throw. They can be found online at growandthrow.shop. They have the Paige Pierce Drive in store here in Columbia, Missouri, so come get yours today. All right, guys, 301 foot par three to the left. We're just coming through this gap. Yeah. 
Not a great skip, but hey, it's okay. Also, if you're wondering about my wardrobe change, it's because my camera died yesterday. It's a day later now, time. And that is dedication to the craft because I care about you. So why don't you go like and subscribe? Oh. So one thing that's really strange I just noticed, and maybe you guys already knew this or there's some reason for this, the Page Pierce drive doesn't have the tooling on the rim. Like, like there's no name of the disc embossed on the rim. You know, here's my Kratos, which is also a really new disc, and it has the tooling on the rim. I love the tooling. I always like grip this for my drives. I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like I get better grip, even though it's probably just completely mental and not real. But the drive doesn't have that. I know some of you don't like it, so I guess that's a win for you if you don't like it. I love the tooling on the rim. Whenever I throw a lot of disc craft and then I go to a different brand, I'm always like subconsciously trying to find the tooling on the rim and then I get frustrated when there is no tooling. So kind of a weird thing, but uh, if you know why the drive doesn't have that, let me know down in the comments. Uh, too low. It's the right angle. Those drive up shots are buttery smooth. So, drive, pros and cons list. Pro, really neutral flyer. Like, as far as distance drivers go, I really wouldn't classify this as overstable or understable. It's just really neutral, and because of that, it holds the line really well. If you put this on Anheuser, you're gonna get a lot of turn, a little bit of pan out of it. If you put this on Heiser, it's gonna hold that Heiser angle without just flipping up and riding straight. But if you hit this with a really flat angle, you're gonna get that nice, really straight, penetrating flight with the fade at the end, which makes it really good for a wide variety of players. Pro number two, I really like the rim width. I feel like the 12 speed is so much more popular and 12 speeds are great. You know, there's nothing inherently better about 11, 12, 13, whatever speed. It's just that for me and my hand size, that 11 rim feels super comfortable. But of course that is personal preference. Pro number three, this plastic is really good. You know, I'm not like a diehard disc craft guy. ESP for me varies so much run to run, whether I like it or not. Sometimes it's just so stiff and it feels kind of slick, but this one they really nailed. Like the plastic feels great. It's got a little bit of flex in it. And of course the swirls, the disc craft swirl game is always on point for ESP, so big win there. Now for the cons list. Con number one, you called it the drive. That's a terrible name for a disc. Con number two, there's no tooling on the rim. What are you doing? I love the tooling on the rim. Con number three, if you do throw this as your go-to distance driver, you can't brag to your friends that you're throwing a nuke or a destroyer, you know, 12s and 13 speeds instead. You're one of those cool kids. You're just rocking the 11 speed. You're just doing your own thing. Nothing wrong with that. But in all seriousness, uh, the drive's really good. You know, I'm not someone to say a disc is objectively good or bad. All discs are good so long as they can fly in the air. This one is especially good because I feel like the numbers really match the actual flight. The reason why they made the disc and the marketing and like, you know, everything they wanted this disc to be is what the disc became. And because of that, I give the Page Pierce Drive five fajitas out of five. I appreciate you guys watching till the end. Go like and subscribe if you haven't already. It means a lot to me. Also go check out this video's sponsor, growing through at growingthrough.shop. And as always, I will see you next time.